will come as soon to the uh, second lecture in chapter uh, 24 uh, which is uh, talking about uh, connection or uh, the source connected to the load either Y to Y connection or we will connect Y to Delta connection since we talked about uh, Y connection last uh, class uh, without talking about uh, Delta connection uh, I will give you a brief about Delta connection uh, then we'll talk uh, in detail uh, about Delta connection uh, for next uh, lecture uh, here as a review from uh, last uh, lecture we have a voltage line and voltage phase for Y connection and similar for the current there is current uh, line and current phase we know that in the last lecture uh, voltage line equal root 3 multiplied by uh, voltage phase uh, and uh, I line equal I phase in Y connection in Y connection for delta connection it is the opposite voltage line equal voltage phase but I line equal root 3 I phase you can see here uh, to remind you uh, we are talking about balance system balance system mean the impedance for each phase equal the other okay this z equal this z equal this z uh, impedance okay for example this can be uh, resistor with the inductor or resistor with the capacitor or resistor only okay either series resistor with the inductor or parallel uh, resistor with the inductor similar to the y connection later we will start talking about uh, examples and uh, if we change the impedance what will happen for the load for everything for the current and voltage okay you can see here the voltage line from this line to this line we consider as voltage uh, uh, we can say voltage line one okay or a equal voltage phase one similar if it is 2 with 2 with voltage line 2 with voltage phase 2 uh, how we said why we said the voltage line in delta connection equal the voltage phase in delta connection for example let us uh, draw voltmeter here and same thing here voltmeter In the phase see this point it is the same point which is connected to this point okay and here the this point for the voltmeter it is the same point connected to the second terminal in the voltmeter because this voltage phase equal voltage line and the current equal the uh, current line equal root 3 multiply by uh, I phase this is magnitude and this is magnitude okay without angle later we'll discuss in detail what is the angle here okay and here what will be the angle for the current okay we talk about uh, Y connection later uh, before in last uh, lecture and how to distinguish between uh, the line voltage and uh, voltage uh, uh, phase if you remember between each phase and phase there is 120 degree and it, between each line and phase value there is 30 degree okay but for the count since it, uh, they are equal uh, they are equal in the magnitude and the angle okay 
let us start talking about Y connected generator with a Y connected load this is the source we will say generator okay and this is the load consider it is the load okay in this example or this section we are we will talk about Y source and Y load you can see here this is the voltage phase on the in the source this is the current phase in the source this is the voltage phase in the load the current phase in the load and in between there is voltage line between line and line we connect the voltmeter here if the load is balanced the neutral connection can be removed without affecting the circuit in any manner that is if Z1 equal Z2 equal Z3. This is what what does mean balance. Z1 equal Z2 equal Z3. We can remove line neutral connection. Okay, it will not affect. If it is not balance unbalanced, we need the uh, uh, neutral connection. Okay, then I n will be zero you add if you add all the, the current summation between i phase one with i phase two with i phase three if you add them you will get zero value okay you can see here i phase generator equal I line which is equal I phase in the load okay since it is Y connection in the load and the same thing V phase in the load equal E phase in the source see here we said last lecture in the source we will say E and in the load we will say V what about if you need to find the current I phase in the load it will be all your calculation uh, by uh, phase value don't use the line value if you need to find I phase you divide V phase divide by Z okay you will get I phase okay if you make a mistake and say E line divided by Z, you will get different value. We will use the phase value to find uh, current phase. Okay, my student. Then, if you find I phase in the load, you will say it is equal I load and I phase in the generator. And for uh, V load, V, uh, v line equal root 3 V phase. Okay. Multiply the phase value. By root 3, you will get the uh, voltage line. Let us uh, take example. Example 24.1, the phase sequence of Y connected generator in uh, figure 24.13 is A, B, C. Okay. Part A, find the phase value theta 2, theta 3. Theta 2, this is the theta 2, and this is theta 3. Then, find the magnitude for the line voltages. The magnitude for the line voltage. This is the line voltage. We need to find the magnitude. I think. Uh, or let us start uh, solving one by one. For example, find the phase uh, angle theta two and theta three. We know that uh, that uh, is uh, A B C sequence. Then the theta two will be minus 
120 and theta 3 it will be plus 120 or we can say theta 3 plus 120 and theta 2 plus 240 as we mentioned in the last lecture okay for the magnitude of the line voltage we need the line voltage we know that we will multiply the phase value by root 3 you can see here root 3 multiplied by phase value which is 120 see 120 phase value you multiply it by one root 3 you will get 208 similar to our equipment in the lab okay then EAB equal EBC equal ECA which is line value for the voltage here you can find see this and this and this okay equal 208 C find the line current line current which is IA capital A small how to find this you will use this uh, formula since we know that the V phase which is, which is in the load voltage in the load equal the E phase in the source then VAN equal EAN capital if you divide VAN since we have the, its value 120 by Z see here each phase has resistor and inductor resistor and inductor resistor and inductor the value for the resistor 3 and here 3 and here 3 the inductor 4 and 4 ohm and here 4 ohm then for each uh, impedance the impedance equal 3 plus j 40 since it is inductor if it is capacitor we will say 3 minus j 4 then 120 and the angle 0 see it's given divide by the impedance you will get the value to uh, 24 ampere don't forget the unit when you write the answer and then the angle minus 53.30 this is for I A N. If you need to find I B N and I C N, okay. You will this I A N, the I B N and this I C N phase value. You will do the same thing here, but for the voltage V B N, which is one hundred twenty minus. 120 degree divided by 5 same impedance same impedance nothing uh, change for the impedance okay you will get same magnitude for the current but different value uh, in the angle and uh, for last one ICN VCN divided by ZCN you will get 24 ampere or an angle 66.87 but our question was about line value find the line current not phase current but we cannot find the line current before finding the phase current okay and why connection it is the same but for the next section if with the source y and the load delta you will find the difference you will see the difference because of this now we can say that i a n capital equal i a n small which is i a n capital i line equal i phase which is same value same magnitude and the same angle okay similar to i b uh, capital b small which is i line I phase same value see here same value and here 24 ampere 66 degree 24 ampere 66 degree 
Okay, last last point, which is D, verify that since the load is uh, balanced, I n equal zero. Okay. I n equal I line A capital A small plus I line B capital B small plus I line C capital C small. If you add them, if you add them, you change from phasor form to uh, rectangular form. Uh, actually, you don't need to change it in the exam. Uh, this only for uh, uh, showing that how we get zero value. If you add real number with real number, you will get zero real, and magnitude uh, or and uh, the imaginary number with the, the imaginary number for the each value, you will get the total zero. This means you add each line with the other line, I A A I B B I C C. You will get zero value. And I N is the fact equal to zero, as required for a balance system. Since it is a balance system. Now we'll start talking about. Uh, why delta system or why delta connection we said that we will work about uh, balance system z1 equals z2 equals z3 and we know that voltage phase equal voltage line in general as we mentioned before in the beginning and the, the line current equal root 3 uh, i phase Okay. We'll study uh, one example here. Example 24.2 for three phase system in figure 24.15. Find the phase angle theta 2 and theta 3. Okay, this is the theta 3 and this is the theta the voltage magnitude or uh, line voltage 150 angle 0 voltage for uh, EBC 150 angle theta 2 which will be minus since it is a uh, uh, positive sequence okay it is mentioned here Y connected generator phase sequence A B C then this mean E B C the angle here will be minus 120 and theta 3 will be plus 120 see here this is the answer okay part B find the current in each phase of the load we need the current here I A B I T C I C A how to find this we will divide the voltage across the impedance which is voltage phase divide by the impedance you will get the current going through the impedance and we know that in delta connection the line voltage equal phase voltage this mean we will use 115 divide by the value here for each impedance you will get then the current phase for each phase see here they said the uh, phase equal uh, line okay and then VAB is 150 divided by ZAB you will get 15 and there with angle minus 53 similar for IBC will get 15 and there minus 123 degree ICA will be 15 and there angle 66 degree for last point find the magnitude of the line current what is the line current this is the line current in part 
B we found phase load phase current طيب this is the delta connection we know that delta connection I phase if you multiply by root 3 you will get I line easy you will multiply only multiply 15 ampere multiply by root 3 you will get 25 as a magnitude this is 25.95 later we'll talk about how to get the angle here but this is only to show how to find the magnitude okay and the reference our book uh, introductory circuits analysis by this we will end uh, our lecture today and later we'll talk about delta source with delta load or delta source with delta or with y load